Guys, okay, thank you so much for clicking this episode, but we're really coming down to the wire here. It is almost Black Friday 2021, and uh, I'm telling you, okay, Thursday, after you eat your Thanksgiving meal, the clock will strike midnight. That is technically Friday now, and that is the beginning of Black Friday, okay? 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time Friday... That is the Black Friday sale at the Time Teller Shop. Use this coupon code, save a bunch of money on some beautiful vintage luxury watches. Guys, do not miss out. We sell out every year and I want you to get something. So click the link in the description below. Please save this coupon code. I will see you there. What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. So I get a lot of questions about fossil watches. And while I'm not the biggest fan of the watches Fossil themselves produces, I am a fan of a watchmaker that Fossil Group acquired back in 2001. Zodiac. Now I've reviewed a few vintage Zodiac watches here on the channel and I've actually been fortunate enough to offer a few vintage Zodiac pieces at the Time Teller shop but for the first time ever we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a modern offering from Zodiac. That's right a limited edition Zodiac Super Seawolf World Time. It is 1229 p.m. let's get down to business. This watch has a 40.1 millimeter diameter, a 47.7 millimeter lug to lug. It's 13.6 millimeters thick. It's got your standard 316L stainless steel case. You're getting a sapphire crystal and a Soprod C125 automatic movement uh, with a GMT complication. We're gonna talk about that in a moment. And you're getting a threaded crown with a 200 meter water resistance rating. So this is a true sports watch through and through. Now Zodiac's been around for a good long while, since 1882 in fact. And one thing I'm very very impressed with when it comes to Zodiac watches is their commitment to sticking with this vintage aesthetic. Like you look at their product catalog and all of their watches pretty much harken back to these old school designs. Which brings us to the pros and cons. So with this Super Seawolf World Time you're getting a modern watch with modern build quality, but a vintage aesthetic. So you're, it's kind of like the best of both worlds. You get the best of both worlds. So yeah, I've absolutely had a blast with this watch on the wrist. I mean, it looks and feels like a vintage sports watch, but it's giving me the confidence of a modern built watch. You're getting uh, no crown guards, right? Beautiful stylized cursive fonts, uh, bar indexes, stick handset, very reasonable case dimensions, and uh, it's just all in all super clean. But it's not without some definite cons, and the cons, uh, one of which is kind of catastrophic, if I'm totally honest. So you'll notice that this watch is not on the bracelet, okay? This is actually right now on a man cave leather strap. For those of you asking, man cave leather is one of my favorite leather strap makers. I always have a link to their stuff in the description of all my videos. They don't sponsor me, but they're just an incredible company and I uh, wanna support the companies that, that I really like. So man cave leather, check them out. But when I first picked up this watch, it was kind of rattly out of the box. Like it still had plastic on it. So I assume it's a new piece. Zodiac themselves did send me uh, this watch, but it was kind of like rattly. And at first, uh, when I put it on the wrist, I realized obviously I would have to take off a couple links, like one on each side usually. And uh, initially resizing it was no issue. That is until I went to go remove the final link and then one of the links closest to the clasp just split apart like detached from itself. I actually have a uh, picture of it. Now this watch utilizes the pin and collar system of fastening each link to each other. Uh, people argue back and forth if that's good or not. I typically don't really have an issue aside from it just kind of being a little bit more difficult to tap the pins out. But with this watch, uh, initially it wasn't really a problem at all. In fact, it actually wasn't the pin or collar that failed on this watch. It was actually the threaded pin, uh, the threaded link I should say closest to the the clasp that doesn't have a pin and collar uh, that was bent and I guess it was bent in the box and then with me kind of resizing it 
it worked its way out and the link just separated. Again, I would assume this was a new product because it did have the plastic on it, but I can't speak for all of the watches Zodiac will send out to their customers, but this one clearly had a pretty huge defect in the bracelet. And the cons don't stop there. The loom markers don't line up with the applied indexes, all right? So uh, when we look at this with a macro lens, it's even more apparent, but you can see it with your naked eye. Uh, it's the most, I would say, pronounced with the seven o'clock index, but there's a few of which, again, where those loom marks just don't line up with the indexes. And for a watch that costs $17.95, that's right, $1,795, that's unacceptable, okay, to have a bracelet defect and to have uh, markers that don't line up, it's just, um, that's not okay. The final con I would mention doesn't bother me so much, but I do understand that this is kind of a bummer. Uh, the soft rod movement uses a quick set GMT hand, although I'd prefer a quick set hour hand, uh, cause that's much more convenient and that's what you're going to be moving more. But you know, whatever, I've just been spoiled with my Explorer too. So, <sighs> I know we, we just finished like a laundry list of cons, but it is truly a bummer when it comes to this watch. I'm never a fan of, of bashing any watch that I review, unless we're, you know. Well, there's a few that I can think of that I've... <laughs> but the truth is, I actually really was looking forward to this watch and I actually really, for the most part, enjoy it. Like this is something I would personally wear as a vintage collector. But for $17.95, the bracelet cannot fall apart on you, all right? And uh, the indexes need to line up. Um, it's generally, you know, a clean dial, clean watch, but these are things that it's, it's confounding. And I know some people, the skeptics out there are like, well, when these companies send you watches, they're picking out the best watches they can send the reviewers. And that may be true. Uh, everything I review, I'm reviewing it as honest as possible and it's up to you to make the decision uh, whether or not you wanna buy the piece. I'm not here trying to sell these to you. But if this is any indication, like if this is the best sample that they could pick to send to me, it still had these defects. So I, I don't know, I don't know. I can only review the watch that is in front of me. So here's my final conclusion. I would keep wearing this watch. Again, it has the look and feel that I like from a vintage, modern, modern vintage watch, whatever you want to call it. And uh, there is some great functionality here. The execution just didn't, it just didn't get there, wasn't there. And for $17.95, baby, that is a big price to pay for something that is not there. But guys, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Special thanks to Zodiac for sending me this watch to review. I really do appreciate it. They sponsored this episode, but I gotta be as honest as possible. They were aware that I am going to be, every company that sends me a watch knows that I'm going to tell the good with the bad. And yeah, what do you think about the price with the execution? Does it line up? Are you okay with it? Do you own one of these watches? Leave me that comment. I would love to hear from you. There you have it, guys. Another review in the books. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. Again, everything we do here on the channel is for you and uh, wouldn't be a channel without you. So thanks for hanging out with me. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. Again, like comment. Uh, those really do help me out in the comment section or in the algorithm. Uh, your comments in the comment section really do help me out. That's what I'm trying to say. And I will see you on the next one. All right, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.